show Bones, which will air its 100th episode tomorrow night. Take a look. Isn't all the good evidence in the flesh, you know, like uh, the poison and the stab wounds and the bullets? All of the important indicators are written in the bone, if you look carefully. So that's your thing? <laughs> yes, I'm the best in the world. Oh, okay, you're serious. <laughs> he thought I was being humorous. That turns out to be true. But you didn't know that yet. dancer so um why do you say me? that <laughs> uh evidence right there see I, I don't believe in any such thing i think that dancing is just a way of expressing yourself and there's no judging i, I, I don't like judge that. yeah I like uh, that. so congratulations 100 episodes <laughs> thank you thank you yeah i can't believe it i feel like i did a pilot and then i blinked and then we've done 100 episodes 100 episodes yeah. it really flies by doesn't it yeah and what did you did y'all celebrate on the set we did they kind of gave us a break for an hour while we were shooting <laughs> wow <laughs> pretty exciting and they brought us a cake and this big moment there were all these press people there and taking pictures oh there's a picture of it mm -hmm. and then they had this cake and then they I had a knife for us to cut it, and I start cutting the cake, and it was not a real cake. <laughs> what was it? It, it was, some of it was a real cake, but I started cutting into it, and it was really tough, and it was styrofoam. And they, so knew, they didn't they even knew. give us a real cake. Oh, well, that's horrible. <laughs> Did you get a real cake later on? I did. Well, I, that was not. I'm vegan, uh -huh. like you are. Yes. So I had cupcakes separately, yeah. but that was a real cake for oh. other people. Half of it was a real cake. So they, I don't know how they do this. Yeah. But they have half styrofoam, half real, so, so they could put the hundred on it or it something. Save, it saves money. So, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> they're cheap. They're cheap. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, and you have an episode about hoarding coming up, right? Yes. That's what we're doing right now. It's uh -huh. uh, the uh, season finale. And so you find someone who has is deceased in a house and and is piled under things yes yes wow. piled under a collapsed pile of his own hoardings uh-huh yeah it, of his own hoardings yeah uh, that, that sounds yeah. weird yeah because um, because i guess that can happen i watch yeah. do you watch hoarders on yeah television? and i've been watching a lot more since we've been doing this episode too had there's you watched it before a little bit a little there, bit there's like hoarders and then there's hoarders buried, buried alive. alive that's the new one yes yes i've watched some of those do you all watch that show hoarders buried alive it's fascinating it's, it is fascinating because these people it's not like they're not intelligent it's no. just it's a it's a disorder that where they just can't let go of things you know i guess everybody has some slight form of it do you like a lot of stuff or do you like hardly anything in your house? No, I'm messy. I'm a messy person, so I have to work really hard at getting rid of That's the beginning of horrors. That's it. I know, maybe that's why I'm interested by it, because I yeah. feel like I'm just a couple steps away from it. Yeah. Because these people don't think they have a problem either. <laughs> I know. Every time you try to get them to throw something away, it's like, ooh, this napkin can came from a restaurant that I once went to. Right. Or you know, like And I wiped my mouth on it once. Right, yeah. Right. I don't want to throw it away. It's very precious to me. I, um, well maybe we, next time I come on you should do a segment from my house and we can find out if I am a hoarder. Well, surprise, we have a camera there now. Let's, no. <laughs> Let's take a look. No. Uh, I don't think I'm at the hoarder stage because uh -huh. I try and keep it. Keep yeah. it at bay. But I, I understand the impulse. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand the impulse really. But um, And how long have you been vegan? Uh, 17 years. Wow, yeah. 17 years. Yeah, I'm so a veteran. So what, uh, what made you start? Uh, I watched a documentary called Diet for a New America. There's right. a book by the same title, right. I'm sure you know. And yep. I watched it in school, of all places. Really? And they yeah. showed that in school? Yeah. Kind of, I went to a progressive school uh -huh. and we watched it and I became a vegetarian immediately and with a plan to become vegan and uh. I did that in the next two years. And Wow. Um, so that was even more time ago. I'm not yeah. going to tell you because it's, yeah. I'll reveal how old I am. Right. <laughs> God knows, we don't want to know that. I'm really um, old. <laughs> well, it's been it's been two years for me, and it, it really is. It, it's a great, healthy thing for for the planet and for everybody. So it's, it, awesome. it's cool to hear that 17 years though. That's really that's that's bold, yeah. brave of you. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, there's a, there's an eye trick that you do that I heard oh. that I would like to see, and um, can you do it? Yeah, I can't tell. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> It's, you know, it's a little challenge. All right. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. <laughs> All right, the 100th episode of Bones airs tomorrow at 8 on Fox. We'll be right back. Thanks, Emily. Thanks.